Hey everybody, it's George the Tech. This is one of my weird reviews. Sometimes I get to mix it up. I rarely ever do consumer tech reviews. So I figured I'd do it two for one today. <laughs> Starting with, how am I shooting this? This is a selfie karaoke microphone by Polaroid of all companies. I'll have information below about what model it is and if you can even find it, where to get it. My girlfriend bought this one at Nordstrom Rack of all places. But <laughs> this is what I'm using today. It's got an arm on it to hold your phone. It's got the microphone, obviously. It's a whole package. And it's kind of fun to be able to do stuff like this. So uh, I'll apologize in advance if there's no wind noise. I, I know there's a windscreen on the mic in here, but who knows if it's good enough. The real reason I'm here is to review a brand of earphones that I'm familiar with called One More. And I'm familiar with One More because I have owned a pair of the One More triple driver in-ear monitors. I'd call them in-ear monitors because they're not earbuds. They're much better quality than your typical earbuds. Um, and they're triple driver, which means they have three independent drivers producing the sound per ear. So there's two high frequency or high mid frequency drivers. They're called linear drivers. And then there's a dynamic driver for the bass. And they do a really, really good job for a really fair price, around 100 US. So this is several years later in evolution and technology. This is uh, their latest and greatest. And these actually are completely Bluetooth. They have no wiring of any kind and they can't be wired. So how do they stack up? Around the same price as the One More Triple Drivers. They're very similar in cost. Made by the same company, but several years later, are they gonna have the same kind of sound quality we've, I've become, come to expect out of the triple driver earphones? They're such good headphones. They're gonna be hard to match. So now I've got the one more ComfoBud Pros in and they are one driver. The name of the driver I'll list below. I can't remember the name right now, but it's just a single driver earphone. So really it's similar in terms of its actual driver content. It's what's found in most other buds of competing brands like Apple and really everybody else that makes an earbud. I was given these by one more through their demo program um, in exchange for this review, but I wanted to be as honest as possible and let you know what I think. Well, first, let me show you the case they come in. It's that kind of familiar smooth egg thing, but in their own kind of shape. Um, thankfully, it comes with a USB-C charging port, which really should be the standard of absolutely everything that's been produced today. Um, Apple, you're listening. No more lightning port, please. And on the inside, the buds fit into this little charging case here, like this. And I have them in my ears right now. I'm currently using them in transparency mode, but in transparency mode, they pass through the sound from the outside world. And I have to say, having uh, that I own and currently use the Apple AirPod Pro, I prefer the transparency mode on these a lot more because uh, they're not as bright and harsh sounding. On the Apples, when you listen to them in transparency mode, the surrounding sound is quite harsh. It's kind of hard to listen to. I really don't even, I never like to leave them in that mode. But these way more tolerable. The thing is to remember though, is that they're amplifying everything and that includes unfortunately wind noise. So I rode my bike over here and I'll cut in a cut of me right now trying to use these on a bike in transparency mode. Lots of wind noise. When you're using these in transparency mode for safety when you're cycling, you get a lot of wind noise because the microphones pick up the wind and sho shovel it right into your ears. So what they need is a transparency mode for wind, like when you're cycling. Because there's a wind reduction mode, which is fine, but it also blocks out noise. So that would not be safe for cycling. They amplify wind noise quite a lot. So using them on a bicycle in transparency mode, really not a good idea. Too much wind noise. But anyway, let me take one out so you can see what they look like. Very sleek design, very attractive. Not unfamiliar to anybody that's ever seen an Apple AirPod. When they're charging inside the case, they have a slight glowing color at the tip which uh, is very cute, it's a cool design. And they snap in. Overall, it's a nice design, it's well designed. As I saw in the specs, if they're flat dead and you stick them in the charging case, in 15 minutes of charging, you'll get two hours of playback. So 
That'll get you up and running really quick if you forgot to charge them. Total runtime with the noise canceling is six hours, so that's much better than the Apple AirPod Pro. So there's another check in the column for the one more. Fit, not a problem because they have proper silicon ear tips like the Pros, they stay in your ear. There's three different sizes, so you should be able to find a combination that works for you. Um, so fit's not a problem. Industrial design is wonderful, really well thought out, nice design case. They even give you another case to hold this case to protect it, like a non-slip case, which most people buy aftermarket for Apple, but these guys throw it in. The only place that it really falls short on, because it does everything else really well, noise canceling, fit, design, battery life, it just falls a little short on sound. And okay, I'm a little bit of an audio geek, I'm an audio engineer, and I'm pretty picky about headphones. And I own the triple drivers. So I know that there's just no way a single driver or ear pod or earphone, whatever you call these things, is gonna hold up to a triple driver. And where they fall short is on high frequencies. Low to mid range actually is really good. Um, I love the low to mid range. Voices sound amazing on it. The vocal quality sounds great. It really does sound really pleasing. And because it doesn't have a lot of top end, it's not overly bright. It's not fatiguing. So you could listen to them for a long time, but you do miss out on that very top frequency band, maybe from 10 kilohertz up, that sizzle of cymbals and the air of a voice, you know, and the attack of a pick on a guitar string. You don't quite get that. So that's, that's one failing, but you know, for many people, that's not a big deal to them. A lot of folks maybe have already lost a lot of hearing in that range. Um, Whatever the case is for you, I think it, you have to decide if that's so important to you. They've got deals on their website. You can get these on a pretty good discount. Normally, I think they're just under $100, but they're even less with discount codes and promotions. Um, so take a look on the site. But anyway, that's the One More Comfort Pro True Wireless Bluetooth Earbuds. Thanks for listening. This has been George the Tech. Get out there and start skating, will you? These guys, these guys have it going. Just one more test. I realized when I was doing the cycling that it was probably using these as the microphone for that video, but I wasn't really sure. So I'm gonna try it again. So here's my voice. I'm about 18 inches from my phone right now using the Comfort Bud Pros as the microphone, theoretically. Now I'm gonna take them, take them off, put them in the case so they're asleep and disconnected and then see how that compares sound quality. All right, same distance away. Now I'm just using the mics built into the iPhone. Same kind of breezy conditions. And let's compare which would really be a better microphone if you were, say, vlogging with these in your ears. Would you ever do that? I don't know, you be the judge. And one more test, I'm still not convinced if these are actually acting as the mic, so let's find out. If these are the microphones, but my video, you'll be able to hear me just as clearly using these microphones in my video app on the iPhone, or not? Let's find out.